This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering new features in Final Cut Pro 10.8. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Not all slow motion looks the same. In this short video, I'll illustrate the four different ways to create slow motion, including the brand new smooth slow-mo in Final Cut Pro 10.8. And I'll show you the different looks each of these options create. Let's start first with slow-mo. This is uh, some footage that I shot of a coal-powered ship, a ferry, in New Zealand. And I really like looking at these open cams that are driving the propeller. But they move so quickly, I'd like to slow them down. So I'm going to select the clip, go to the Retime menu, and pick Slow. And we're going to go 10% because it shows this the best. Then I'm going to go back to the Retime menu and change Video Quality to Fast Floor. This basically just freezes a frame. Let me show you the results. When I play it, no, 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 freezes the results. There we go. Notice how it looks like a series of still images. It's actually the highest quality, but it doesn't give us a smooth feeling for the slow-mo. So I'm going to change this to frame blending. What frame blending does is Final Cut puts a dissolve between each of the frames. It gives the illusion of slow motion, but as I use the arrow keys to move throw, Look at how blurry everything is. It's not, I mean, it's not bad. It's much better than the individual chunk, 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 chunk of the frames, but we can do better. Now I'm going to change the video quality to optical flow. What optical flow does is it creates what's called between frames. Takes frame one and frame two, looks at how the pixels move between the two frames, and creates artificial frames that will move, slowly move the pixels from frame one to frame two. The good news is it works. The bad news is it takes a little bit of time and it tends to have artifacting. Let's take a look. Look at how it tends to morph. Look at how it's morphing here. We're getting strange artifacting. Right there is a good example. It isn't doing a really good job of guessing how the frames are changing from frame one to frame two. Well, let's reset everything because here's what's new. We're going to go back to normal. And this time, the new feature in 10.8 is to go to smooth slow-mo, and I'm going to do 10%. This now applies artificial intelligence, machine learning, to create optical flow, but informed by the power of AI. Still needs to analyze the clip, still takes longer than frame blending or just pure frames by themselves, but it generally yields better results than optical flow by itself. Let's watch this. We're still getting artifacts. It's still not perfect, but it's better than optical flow by itself. Now, let me just compare this. Oh, hush. Let me just compare this with footage which was shot at a high frame rate. Here, with the high frame rate footage, we get a much higher quality image because we're shooting original frames and then just playing them back more slowly. The highest possible quality you can get for slow-mo is to shoot at a high frame rate and play back at a slow frame rate but that requires thinking about it during production. If you don't have that option, take a look at smooth slow-mo. The slower your slow motion, the more likely you are to get artifacts. Obviously, if you do 50% or 25%, your artifacts are going to be minimal. As you go to 10% or 5%, where you get really extreme slow motion, you're going to get some strange artifacts. In general, try to keep your speeds as fast as possible, and if you really need extreme slow motion, shoot at a higher frame rate. But this smooth slow motion gives better results in general than the old optical flow. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar showcasing new features in Final Cut Pro 10.8. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 366.
By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.